Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale or clean your Mainstays Walmart coffee maker. This is a brand new coffee maker in April of 2021. Mainstays has a programmable coffee maker. I just did a um, detailed review on this and this is a really nice coffee maker. It sells for $20 at Walmart only and you can program it to come on in the morning to brew your pot of coffee. So you need to keep up on your regular scheduled maintenance and that is called descaling it. I like to use white vinegar from Walmart. You can get this big jug for 64 fluid ounces for a buck 50. So is your coffee not tasting as good as it used to? Is it not as hot? And is your coffee maker starting to get really loud? These are all signs that it's time to descale. You should descale your coffee maker every six months. If you've got hard water, you might want to do it a little bit more often but at least every six months. Give yourself about an hour to do this. So you may be asking yourself, why do we descale? I've got a Cuisinart here. Um, coffee makers are made generally the same. I'm gonna show you. So the water goes in here, and in the bottom of most coffee makers, this one is, is exactly the same, they've got this heating element. So the water comes in, it gets heated, and then it gets shot up to the brew head. This is what you're descaling. I've cut this open and you can see inside here there's an aluminum heating element and hard water will start to stick inside there. If it builds up too much it can't heat the water and it could start tasting bad. So when we descale this, we're running that vinegar through here, it should clean out the inside of this heating element. And then the water gets shot up through the tube and it comes out the brew head. This one is exactly the same. So this is a cheaper coffee maker. It doesn't have a clean line. It doesn't have a cleaning um, mode or a function. You've just got to kind of figure out when you need to descale this on your own. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure your coffee maker, your coffee pot's empty. Make sure this is empty. We're not going to put a filter in here or coffee grounds, but you do have to have the brew basket in here. Then we're going to, this is straight vinegar, distilled white vinegar. We're going to pour it back here where the water goes. I'm going to fill it up to the six mark. Okay, that's pure vinegar up to the six mark. Now I'm going to fill it up to the 12 mark with just fresh water. You can use tap water, filtered water, or bottled water. And you can use this, fill this up to the six mark, and then dump it back there. Okay, so now I've got my fresh water. I'm going to dump the fresh water back here. Again, Make sure we get to the 12 mark. That's okay if you're a little short. Now I've got a one to one ratio, 50% vinegar, 50% water. Put your coffee pot back down. We're gonna close the lid and you're just gonna do a normal brew. Just hit the on off button. The little brew light comes on and it's gonna brew that vinegar and water through the coffee maker. But there's one extra step we got to do after it's brewed about two cups we're going to hit that off button we want to let it soak even though it's not it hasn't finished brewing the vinegar and, and water through it we want it to soak inside that heating element for about 15 to 30 minutes and then we're just simply going to press the on off button to start the brew again this first part's not too bad it's the second part where you got to do fresh water rinses you got to do about three to four coffee pots of just fresh water. That's what takes the longest. Running fresh water through it just to get all the vinegar uh, taste and smell. Vinegar does have kind of a strong taste and smell to it. And you will kind of smell vinegar in your house when you're doing this. You may even notice some white specks in the bottom of your uh, coffee pot. That's just the hard water deposits that are getting cleaned off of the uh, eating element. And that's a good sign. And you may see some white specks in the filter basket too. Okay, so it's been brewing for about three or four minutes. We're almost to the four cup mark. We're just gonna turn the coffee maker off. It's gonna stop brewing and we wanna let it sit. We wanna let it sit for anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. This is a very important step that you don't wanna miss. It does help clean the inside of that coffee maker. Okay, so I've let it sit for about 30 minutes. Again, if you're in a hurry, you can go 15 minutes. If you're in a big hurry, you can bypass that step. You don't necessarily have to do it, but it does just help. So just we're going to turn the coffee maker back on. It's going to finish brewing what's left of the vinegar and the water. And again, this will take about 8 or 12 minutes to kind of finish up. 
when it's done brewing this vinegar and water all the way up to here. We're just going to dump it down the sink. We're going to rinse this out with soap and water, rinse the filter basket out, and then we're going to start our fresh water rinses. Okay, so it's done running all the water through. All the water and vinegar is done through. We're going to dump this out. And like I said, I'm going to rinse this out with soap and water. And you're just going to turn this brew button off. Okay, so I filled the coffee pot up. This is just fresh water now. You can use um, bottled water or filter water. Just don't use distilled water. Then you're just going to pour. This is, these are called fresh water rinses. And you got to do anywhere from three to four. Three usually gets it for me. Sometimes I've got to do four, but three usually does it. Fill it up to the ready full 12 pot. Put your thing down and just do a brew. It's just going to brew that fresh water through there and kind of clean out the vinegar and the, um, the taste and the smell from the coffee maker with just fresh water. This is what takes so long. Each, each pot takes about, you know, 10 to 12 minutes. You can do some things in the, while it's brewing. This is a really nice coffee maker, and I think if you keep up on the maintenance, this coffee maker will last you a very long time. Thanks everybody for watching, and if you could, please like and subscribe.